Who is really the villain here? Is it Amanda? Is it the media? Is she the cause of her own misery? Well, let a therapist tell you, we gonna get into it today. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, you hit that like, because you never want to miss a thing. Now, recently, Amanda has been in the news these last couple weeks, and I've been slowly paying attention. Me, myself, I'm always like with my little therapist spidey sense, watching. That's the Virgo in me. I like to watch, not plot, but just people watch. And I've been noticing media is vastly changing, especially Essence Magazine. Now they had the first op-ed piece about her and looking at the title, you would think it was about one thing, but when you actually read it, it was kind of breaking Amanda down, talking about different things related to her as a person, individual. And for Essence Magazine to come out with this type of media op-ed, it shows me that they're really changing. They are, they have been trying to rebrand a little auntie fest essence fest for quite some time and now i'm noticing how they are moving and shifting how they put what they put out and what they pay attention to they're really trying to um come from a viewpoint and push things that are more about gen z the younger audience even stuff they post on social media i just be like what happened to the essence i grew up with you know the one i'd be at my mama house and you know, she'll be doing my hair and there will be all the Essence magazines on the table. You'd be at your granny's house. Mailman come over with the Essence magazine and the plastic wrap. It was something we look forward to. But me as someone who grew up, you know, reading those articles, they don't seem as rich. I feel like they're clickbaiting. And people have seen and know that Amanda is an easy person to clickbait about. To make coin, to make dollars. It's easy to kind of pull her apart and make her, for some people, an opportunity to make a dollar. Now, some people might feel like a man is the problem. Some people might feel like the media is the problem, okay? Some people might feel like Amanda has said things, done things, hurt people, attempt to ruin people's reputation that she now deserves the things that are happening to her. But to me, it feels like there's a shift happening. It feels like it's okay to break down a person to make money. It's okay to label someone a villain. It's okay to continue to pull apart a human being because she's problematic. And since the world media thinks and feels like she is problematic, oh, let's jump on the bandwagon. Let's make some money off of her too. And we've seen three articles, like she said, this is the third one by the Griot. Okay, and now the Griot also is falling into the trap of clickbait. We've seen them do it with different articles, um, little thing with Ebony Williams and the thing she said about not wanting to date a bus driver, clickbait. Because if you really pay attention to that whole um, podcast interview, it was really not about that. Okay, but the narrative and the clickbait will get viewers in, will get people to follow, subscribe. Everyone's, so much capitalism is really ruining the world. And so now you have, oh, they did it, Essence did it, The Root did it, now the Griot is doing it. Okay, I think we are living in a world where you are not allowed to have a voice. And if you do have a voice, you need to say the same thing everyone else is. If you stand up against something, if you are someone who is a, an intelligent or has a sense um, or passion about certain things that does not go with the grain of everybody else, the world is going to come against you. And has Amanda said things that are polarizing? I believe so. Does she have like a, a passionate personality that comes off as aggression? Yes. Oftentimes as a black woman, people get it mixed up. My passion comes off to some people like aggression, okay? And people try and use that in, as a microaggression against me, black women, to label us as the angry black woman. I don't think that Amanda is an angry black woman, but I think that it's easy bait it's easy for people to kind of continue this narrative which only continues to hurt her because in some people's eyes she might be blackballed even with her saying all the things about you know the war and things like that people have left her side friends management pr people you see it starting to crumble okay but it's interesting because someone who is 
openly anti-black versus someone who is openly pro-black gets the villain narrative. But if you look over here at Candace Owens, she is getting the rebrand, okay? She is becoming a rebrand. She's trying to rebrand herself and she did that by going on The Breakfast Club. She did that by going on the Joe Budden podcast. She's trying to change the perception of how people view her. And it's interesting how black media is okay with giving her a chance to come on their platforms, but you don't see the same grace giving for a man who is pro-black. So you have to ask yourself, are people more, um, are, do people support more pro-black women or anti-black women? Or is it the messenger? Are people so upset with the messenger that the message does not matter? It's all about the person and what they are saying, what they're doing. But I see how media and people are moving. So, pe so many people right now are under a rebrand. And it's all about how can I change how the world views me so I can become part of this, I don't know if it's a, a circle, a narrative, but it's all about money, okay? Why do you think it is that Amanda gets shut down, pushed down, ignored, or ridiculed, but oh Candace, come on in. Come on the Breakfast Club. Sit with Joe Budden, who doesn't sit with a lot of media people. Not to mention, okay, we got this whole thing going on with Diddy, but I have not seen anything from Essence about that. I don't know if I've seen anything from The Root. I don't see a lot of black media really talking about what is going on. How is it that this man ha has harmed, destroyed? We've seen in court documents that he blew someone's car. Okay, we've seen that. We've seen the same thing he, um, the things he did with Cassie, but yet black media is not really focused on that. Okay, what they are focused on are, is tearing down Amanda Seals. And I'm not sure if it's once again capitalism, Diddy having a lot of money, a lot of power, and Amanda does not have a lot of money and power. So, oh, let's go over the, the easy prey versus the big kahuna, the big shark. But let me know, do you guys think that, or have you noticed black media ignores things that they're afraid to talk about and discuss, whereas over here, hmm, this is easy, clickbait. This will get us attention, all the negative attention at the cost of breaking down a woman. And I remember Essence used to be about uplifting voices uplifting black culture black community but they pick and they choose they pick and they choose and as quiet as it's kept black media is still uncomfortable with so many different things that instead of us focusing on that bringing it to the surface using our platforms using our voices to advocate to discuss to educate we're using it to tear down and it's sad to see it happen to people in our own community we're doing it to each other. It's once again that slave mentality. Which slave is better? Okay, I gotta get one up on the next one. I wanna be treated like the house slave. We are still stuck in this slave mentality in a lot of ways, okay? But I'm hoping that, <sighs> should I even hope? Should I even, I don't even know if it's even hope anymore that things will change and get better because I don't think people are invested in, from a media perspective, making things better. I think they're invested in the coin, the dollar, the bag, whatever gets people to follow, like, click on their website, subscribe to their magazine, their e-newsletter, that's what the focus is. And right now, the focus is tearing down Amanda. But let me know your thoughts, cause I'm sure some of y'all think Amanda is the problem and not the media. We can get into it. Make sure if you have not already, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.